Well, a very good morning to you and welcome to South Berlane Baptist Church online. And this Christmas Day, so a very, very happy Christmas to you wherever you are. Gosh, it's a very different Christmas this year, isn't it? And I guess so many people are so bitterly disappointed and I'm so sorry about that. But I am glad that we can still celebrate the real reason of Christmas, the birth of the Lord Jesus Christ, God leaving heaven to come and live amongst us and make everything so very, very different in a wonderful way. We can celebrate that. And throughout Advent, we've been lighting our Advent candles to remind us of hope, of peace, of love and of joy, those things that Jesus made possible for us to know. And today we get to light the middle candle, the white candle, signifying Jesus's birth. So it really is the birthday candle that we're lighting this morning. There we go, we have all our Advent candles alight it's Christmas Day, we need to sing a carol. And just lately we've had some of our friends uh, just telling us a little bit about a carol they particularly like, why they've chosen it. And we have a couple more of our friends today. So to tell you about the carol that he likes and why he likes it, here is Jerry. Hi, my favourite carol is Come All Ye Faithful, because I remember it from my very early days at infant school which was uh, St Anne's in Alpington. <laughs> well, it is a great carol. Thanks, Jerry. So let's listen to or sing along to, but let's participate in the words of this great carol, O Come All Ye Faithful. And then after that, we're going to go into our nativity presentation. And thank you so much to all the people that helped make that possible. Following the nativity presentation, we'll obviously have the remainder of our service. But now let's sing, O Come All Ye Faithful. Oh, 
shepherds, angels, wise men. I think there must be a story breaking here. Good morning, welcome to Bethlehem Daily. I'm Sarah Minnery. I'm Christopher Bailey. Starting today, there is news just in the birth of a baby who's born to be king. That's right. We have witnesses from lots to say about this young baby asleep in the hay. So hot of the press, we're bringing the news. The magical tale, a king of the Jews. But first though, some shepherds who have claimed to have seen a vision that most would assume was a dream. A visit from angels in all of their glory. To our correspondent, hello, I have a story. Yes, hello and welcome. I'm uh, joined here today by some delirious shepherds who have a lot to say. So, can you please tell me why you're so stirred and what's happened uh, while you were watching your herd today? We were out on the hillside, just watching our sheep. For Russian, we all were, but she was asleep. When high in the sky came a brilliant light. It lit up the sky in the dead of night. Yes, we've recreated the scene that occurred. So viewers, this is what they claim to have heard. Angel Gabriel, behold, I have news of a baby's birth. A saviour is born to you, Lord of the earth. You'll find him in Bethlehem, laid in his bed. A manger is where he is resting his head. He's wrapped up all cosy and laid in the hay. Hurry, go find him. Set off on your way. It seems quite remarkable. What happened next? Well, as you imagine, we were perplexed. Then, as we were listening and bound to the ground, a whole host of angels gathered around. We lifted our eyes and we watched them amazed as each of them danced and sang and they prayed. So what are your plans now you've heard what they say? Well, we plan to search for this babe in the hive. Hey, maybe would you like to come traveling too? And stay with the story. Yes, that's what I'll do. Well, thank you there, shepherds, for telling me your story. So back now to you again, Sarah Minori. More later from Ivor, the shepherds have gone with our correspondent tagging along. But now we have a musical interlude too. The latest sensation, especially for you, for we have a treat next. So what can I say? Over to Phil G. Please take it away. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive a king. Let every heart prepare him room. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and heaven and nature sing. Joy to the world, the Saviour reigns. Let men their songs employ, while fields and floods, brooks, hills and plains, repeat the sounding joy, repeat the sounding joy, repeat, repeat the sounding joy. He rules the world with truth and grace, and makes the nations prove the glories of his righteousness and wonders of his love and wonders of his love and wonders wonders of his love wonderful that was great Really great, thank you. 
Now we have another story too. I think that our budget has vastly increased for this story's coming from far in the east. Yes, our correspondent is there on the scene. So let's find out more from Josephine Dean. Hi Christopher, thank you. Here at the hotel, three kings from the east have a story to tell. They all know their scriptures and say they've seen a star in the east. Tell me, what does it mean? Well, if you look there, you can see way up high that brightest of stars over there in the sky. We've seen it and followed it, and here's the good news. It tells of the birth of the King of the Jews. So we plan to follow it, journeying far, and we will not rest until that brightest star has led us to where we can worship this King, the Lord and ruler of everything. You heard it here first. What incredible news, the birth of a baby, the King of the Jews. So thank you. I'll leave you and go and explore. I'll keep you updated as I find out more. Yes, Josephine will be back later with more. Did you see those kings and the robes that they wore? That was an extravagant interviewee. The King of the Jews, how rich must he be? Now travel news and all the business news too. I hear traffic's bad on the roads. Is that true? Yes, probably thanks to the Emperor of Rome. Everyone seems to be travelling home. But if you've not heard about Caesar's decree, then listen up now and you'll hear it from me. For most other people are rushing ahead to get to their hometown. For Caesar has said that he has a register for us to sign, but in our hometown, and this thankfully is mine. And business news too. Anything new to report? Well, yes, there's not much, so this will be short. The markets are down as recession sets in, with taxes impending, we're cutting spending. But shares in some businesses soared overnight. It seems that the donkey sales reached quite a height. And hotels and innkeepers can't keep abreast of all the demand for good places to rest. So right now, if you're wondering where to invest, my tip, local travel industry's best. Can I interrupt, please? We're keeping this short and we still have the weather we need to report. Yes, on to the weather. And last but not least, a strange phenomenon is in from the east. It's perfect conditions for this special sight as Bethlehem's host to a clear starry night. So telescopes out now, wherever you are, look up for Bethlehem's brightest new star. I'm sorry to cut in, but news is just in and Ivor's main story is developing. So back now to Ivor. So, where are you now? And have you discovered this saviour somehow? I'm in Bethlehem where the angel has said the saviour will be in a manger bed. I'm letting the shepherds walk on just ahead. We've heard there's a baby in that cattle shed. Hello, I'm sorry, but do I know you? We're looking for someone you, you won't believe. Who? We will not tell you how, but we recently heard that something incredible has just occurred. A saviour is born to the world. So may we just check in the manger? Will you let us see? We've travelled for ages. We've left all our sheep. Shush, we are trying to get the baby to sleep. Away in a manger, no crib for his bed. The little Lord Jesus lay down his sweet head. The stars in the bright sky look down where Excuse me, I promise I won't wake the baby, but could I please leave him this present here, maybe? An angel has sent us. It's clear in my mind that yours is the baby she sent us to find. She said he's the saviour of all of the earth. So we've come to celebrate your baby's birth. 
Amazing, I saw it with my own two eyes. I have to confess it was a surprise. The scene was exactly as the angel said. The baby was laid in a manger bed and wrapped up in nothing but swaddling bands right here in the humblest of Judea's lands. It's nothing spectacular, modest at best. Now let's leave the mother and baby to rest. I've been Ivor Story for Bethlehem Daily. Back to the studio, Christopher Bailey. Well, make of that story what you will, but we have a prophecy now to fulfil. Remember the kings from the east? We have news. It seems that they are close to the king of the Jews. If he's as important as those kings suggest, his place of birth must be the best of the best. So get ready, viewers. You're likely to see the biggest and best palace there'll ever be. So, over to our correspondent, who's at the place of this king of the Jews habitat. Yes. Hello there, Christopher. Strange as it seems, I'm not in the city of everyone's dreams. And viewers, I have to make one thing quite clear. You won't find a palace or golden crib here. For I'm in Bethlehem, stable in sight. Yes, stable, not palace. You did hear me right. The kings, they're knocking on that stable door. I've never seen anything so strange before. Well, more of that story right after the break. Will they find the King of the Jews? I can't wait. Oh, sorry, have you got a moment? Yes, I have a moment. Can I interest you, sir? Special deal today. Fresh from the field to your camel. Environmentally friendly camel food. Right, sir, it's selling like hot cakes. It's environmentally friendly, it's green, keeps the emissions down, more miles to the mouthful. So, can I interest you? No, because I use Camel Crunch. What? But would you not want to swap your small box of Camel Crunch for a big bag of fresh in the field to your camel, camel food? No, because my camel thinks it's great. Unbelievable. Well, in tests, eight out of 10 camel owners said their camels preferred it. Complete nonsense. Daily. I'm Sarah Minnery. I'm Christopher Bailey. Before the break, we heard some intriguing news that Bethlehem's home to the King of the Jews. To find out the details, there's Josephine Dean, our news correspondent, who's there at the scene. Yes, hello there, Sarah. Well, as you can see, I'm honoured with royalty here with me. They've followed a star and it's brought them to here. They say that the King of the Jews must be near. Hello, can I help you? Yes, can we come in? We've come here to worship the King of all Kings. For years we have travelled, yes we've travelled afar. We're following the journey mapped out by that star. The scriptures have guided us, they made it clear. The King that we are looking for, he is right here. Come in, you're welcome. It's true what you say, that this is God's only son laid in the hay. My Lord, we bring gifts. We'll present them to you. Each one is symbolic of what you will do. O oh Lord, you've abandoned the finest of things, but I bring you gold, the king of all kings. Your priestly role, no doubt, will be bittersweet. I will bring frankincense and kneel at your feet. And I bring you myrrh, and I bow down to you in praise and thanksgiving for what you will do. You saw it here first, viewers, never before. Have kings humbly bowed to another in all. Now, back to the studio. Over to you. Wow, Joe, that is amazing. Hmm, could it be true? Well, 
I'm sorry everyone, that's all for now. I don't think that story has ended somehow. I'm sure we'll hear more of the King of the Jews, so keep tuning in to hear more good news. Meanwhile, it's goodbye from Bethlehem Daily, from Sarah Minery and Christopher Bailey. absolutely brilliant and we're going to resume our Christmas Day service in just a moment but uh, I want to say a big thank you to everybody particularly our editors who spent hours doing that and to everybody else who took part and here they are Tell us what her favourite carol is and why. Here's the last of our friends. So, Karen, thank you very much. My favourite Christmas carol is Silent Night um, because it brings back memories when I used to sing around my nan many years ago. Well, Karen, thank you so much. It is a wonderful carol, Silent Night, and we're going to listen to a wonderful version by Libera in just a moment or two. But, you know, in that carol, it says, Glory streams from heaven afar, angels sing their alleluia, Jesus the Saviour is born. Literally, that very first Christmas, God in the person of Jesus Christ left heaven and came to earth. Why? Because we human beings were separated from God and he came to make a way which he has for us to be reconciled, to be made right with God, to have that connection with God again. And as we place our faith in Jesus Christ as the saviour, we are reconnected with God and we can know the wondrous hope, peace, love and joy that can only be experienced in a relationship with God. That is the wonder of Christmas. That very first Christmas, God took a giant step to come near to us. So this Christmas, whoever we are, wherever we are, let's take a small step toward him, a small step toward knowing his love, hope, peace and joy in our lives. Silent Night.
the love of God that came down from heaven on that glorious silent night. Father, I pray that whoever we are, wherever we are, we would know this Christmas more of your hope, your peace, your love and your joy in our lives and that we might be able to walk more closely with you into the new year 2021. This we ask in the name of Christ, our Saviour. Amen. Thank you so much for joining with us today. Have a wonderful Christmas and please, please, please do stay safe. God bless you. Thank you.